Okay. So I can... Let's do it. Okay. All right. So do you want me to go over my three notes that I got? For this sure. Set? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. So what I really took, uh, just like in general, what I want to get at is how to deal with uh, with flop happy foxes and don't and don't approach. And if they don't, okay. and then if they don't, what do you do? And then if they do approach, what do you do? Oh, those I have see. been okay. those have been my main dilemmas because the issue that I've run into recently, they will not approach until they approach. If you get what I mean. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Because like they'll only approach until you like lay off of them, or like commit to something, and then they go on full aggression. And mm, it's okay. been very irritating to deal with because it's hard to find my footing with it. And yeah, yeah. I played Maxi, who's full hop happy fox, and yeah. I'm like, I, he, he, I played terrible, but he also beat me really bad. And it was basically a wake up call. I was like, I don't want to lose this type of style of fox anymore because I, I know I'm capable of doing it, and I should yeah. just put in the work to try to figure out to be it and into beating it instead of having my mind convincing myself I could be it, then just wanting to just actually do it and just study it because. Um, just, it's, it's a style of Fox that I don't like playing against, but I know once I figure out to beat it, I, it'll become second nature. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> it's definitely like weird when you play a lot of full Foxes. It's like, uh, uh, yeah, for sure. See, is the vid not loading or? Yeah, I don't know why it's not loading. Okay, there we go. Okay, well, that's good to know. Let's see. So Yoshi Store, Yoshi Store, you're obviously gonna cut out the full hopping quite a bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so I like this. The thing is is like undershoot aerial into immediately stomp. Turn around stomp is really good. It's mm -hmm. like a really basic like neutral thing you do against Fox. Cause it's just like really basic, like if I undershoot this, I know what I'm doing immediately, right? Mm -hmm. Just go for this, you know? So just keep that in mind how important the stomp is. Obviously, stomp's, like, really important, right? So. Yeah, because, like, it's a big hitbox, and yeah. it's pretty hard to contest unless you're, like, within the range to beat the startup. Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> I mean, Wizzy just pretty much just, like, autopilot a neutral for right now. Just, you know, and that's fine to do, like, right off the bat. So, that's good. <clears throat> Was really good patience there mm -hmm. okay think about this think about this shielding for this long would, would you have shielded this for this long in the situation uh probably not yeah so think about that like it's okay to shield for a while against falcon you mm -hmm. know with falcon you know yeah like and yeah and that full hop back air that weapon did so go back one sec for it yeah. that full hop falling back air is like a perfect <laughs> example yeah. of <laughs> what i've been struggling with is that they land with some sort of aerial yeah typically behind falcon like this because yeah, yeah. he doesn't really have much to get out of it right so like you're kind of pigeonholed to where like you can maybe roll you can maybe way dash out but it's still a difficult yeah. position because they can probably dash up there or like catch yeah. a roll with a grab or something like yeah they're usually really in, they're usually in an advantage here and i find myself yeah. in this situation a lot yeah that's really true um so <clears throat> i mean this is this is all data gathering so if bluffin recognizes roll immediately on that really safe back air you know <clears throat> now <clears throat> now we start playing the game right yeah so if you this is like one of those layers that you kind of have to mess with where if somebody spaces on your shield when you roll the first time, you have to keep inventory of that. I rolled the first time. Next time he does it, what am I doing, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, because that situation's so unfavorable for you, it's like, it's 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 kind of like a... There's no right answer, right? Mm -hmm. It's just, you pick the answer he doesn't cover. And okay. you kind of, right? It's like, it's like pick and choose. Like, he's not covering... I guess a hypothetical example, he does falling back air shine. That probably yeah. opens the door for me to roll 
or stop out Exa of it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. So <clears throat> yeah, keep that in mind. <clears throat> you do have to take that risk, right? But then the issue is, is you have to keep a mental note, right? So mm -hmm. if you're not keeping a mental note for yourself, then then it's going to seem like a lot more daunting than it is, right? Yeah, so, because like if you, you never want to say the other guy's doing random shit, right? Yeah, that's the last thing you want. You want to figure yeah. out what they're doing. So Leppin does a really nice like turnaround job there, but roll the roll kind of beats it, so that's good. Yeah, because like if he does that jab there, he's probably looking for an aerialized shield to stuff him in the yes. air. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Leppin's doing a really good job taking the ground. Sense. <laughs> What the fuck was <clears throat> See this? So mm -hmm. why do you think he does this? Why oh, the do you falling, think he does the that? falling there? Turn around, no, dash away, uh, stomp. To pretty much call him committing in. Yeah, right? Mm hmm But does he get punished for it? No, Leppin respects no. it. So think about that when you're playing against Fox. Is like <clears throat> if the Fox is autopiloting going in, like, this is totally fine to do, you know? Mm-hmm. And I like him going for stomp and not back air. Um, you know, and not back air here. I think stomp is like... The nice thing about stomp is it goes a lot higher, right? Mm -hmm. So Nair goes under stomp, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I guess, like, my question is, is that what if they're, like, if they're, like, pressuring within that range to where that stomp is, like, not working? Like... Yeah, well... Like, well, say if they're, if they're, like, sharking under it. And like closing the range, like I see. What what do you is that where the back air? Comes yeah, I can see the back air going in. Yeah, being a little better there. It's also fine to just wave dash out, you know. To like wave dash out to like take like, just a uh, wait or like see what the fox does. Yeah, and the thing is, when you wave dash out, you have to be ready to block. Mm -hmm. Don't when you wave dash out, or dash away. Don't be like, like, I'm going in now. You know, you actually have to keep watching them, right? Mm -hmm. what if you have to block again yeah and then if right. they're if they're like shielding is that like a ticket to maybe consider grabbing in this case because they're giving you the respect uh maybe but it's a little too early right now i think so uh in this in this particular set but i guess i guess you're right yeah if you if you see it yeah okay um but yeah, yeah, yeah. uh that's good, and uh, yeah, but basically the, the nice thing is you, if you can power shield or get like a really good shield on a where they hit your aerial high, that's like really good for you, you know? Mm -hmm. So keeping an eye out, uh, you know, reacting with shield is so important with Falcon, you know? Yeah, like pivot, like pivot shields or run-up shield in this sense. Yeah, yeah. If you're playing well against Fox, you should be power shielding a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. Or like getting like blocks up the last second. Yeah, like blocks at the last second that usually lead to a grab or some sort of juicy out of shield option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's not yeah. bad. Nice. Dude, he knew he would get three pummels. That's kind of nuts. That was crazy invisibility. Oh my god, that was insane. Ooh, he made that ambiguous. That's amazing Lucky smash. Still caught it. That's amazing smash, yeah. Oh, what the but... fuck? That was insane. He tried to slide off, I think, but... Was so. he an amazing smash guy in the back air? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and with this double jump feint, so... I got away from this concept a little bit. So, like, he does the double jump feint up air. Yeah. Um, is this, like, good for kind of, like, if they're committing or dashing in? Yeah, yeah. Like the thing is, like, the way Falcon gets kills at, like, high percent is not really, like spamming back air that's not really it what, yeah what it really is is you catch people coming in with late up airs because late up air um is like way more horizontal on the ground mm -hmm. so for example like it catches people like at your toes right yeah the tip like the tip one like the three point yeah. uppers that we talked about yeah i just think of it as like a four tilt like at the last second you know like late four tilt if that makes yeah. sense exactly because look how wide this shit is like it's so it, wide it covered like basically like almost the center stage of story and then like yeah. the very lip of the platform yeah Any, anytime somebody's like, like like high percent i just do like late up airs all day 
you can't punish late up air, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's really hard to punish. punish yeah, late up air. and even on shield, it's not that bad either. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so yeah, there's a lot of things like it's really hard to punish, like, um, you know, dash back stomp and as well. But the thing is, is like, the the bad thing about back air is like doing dash back air is that the the fastfall timing for it is so like unoptimal, you know. Like the mm -hmm. hard hits out, and then you have to fastball, and you get like the weak hit, you know. And also, like you're in a decent amount of lag if you don't auto if it's not yeah, auto canceled. Yeah. It's yeah, like exactly. it's like only good if it's rising. It's like only good if it's rising yeah. or if it like trades because like yeah, if, you, exactly. if you like tr like trading with backer is pretty good, especially if they're a high percent and you're a low percent. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, like that dash back air back air was good because he was respecting the ledge dash line. Yeah, exactly. And like, worst case, like he's basically waiting for the invincibility to end, and then back air it. Yeah, pretty good. All right, just gets our pressure. All right, look at this. What's he doing here? I saw way dash in place. Right. This. Mhm. Mm Same thing, with the dash, dash back, back stomp. stomp. Mhm. Mm dash back stomp because the back the back. The, the ass part of Stomp is so big, right? Mm hmm So fucking big. Falcon's yeah. ass is Melee's ass, is all I can say. Yeah. And so, like, think about the risk-reward for this. It's so in Falcon's favor, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If he, if you trade, if they trade with the Stomp, they're all on the ground, right? Mm hmm So it's, like, really, really important that you mix that in. Yeah. I'd like the, uh, I like, oh, I like the way dash in place, so go back one sec on this. Yeah, I like this too. So you talk uh, like I, I saw a way dash in place. Here's a timing uh, as like a timing yeah. mix up instead of like the, the usual dash dance. Yeah, yeah, the dash dance. So I really like that timing mix up. That is actually off. really sick. Yeah. And then he does wow. the he does the nun thing, which I really like. So that's something that's I I've gotten a lot better at. It's super mm -hmm. hard to do where you instantly just ASDI down and yeah. just ma and mash grab. It's kind of similar to what we talked about with if Marth like fares you uh like inside. You mash grab. It's a similar sort yeah, of exactly. concept there, where you just mash yeah, grab. I, yeah, you see this a lot now. I think it's like new meta game. Or new, you just dash forward and hold down. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bobby Big Doll does that like constantly, and it always works. Yeah, Bobby it uh, always Bob, works because everybody always nares at him, and he just runs, holds down, and shines or something. Yeah, every time I play Bobby, he does that actually. Yeah, but like, of course, you want to hit him because he's in the corner. But like, uh, that's really good. He uses percent. Yeah, you have to, like, use a strong hit pretty much to, like, force him to not do it. Like, you pretty much have to knee or stomp him in that situation. Or just flat out grab him entirely because the grab just nullifies the CC. Yeah. That dash of CC, though, like, he's really good at it. I don't, like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, and that's something that also, like, with the with the stomp thing uh -huh. is, um... It's, like, if you go back to, like, the, the dash back stomp, usually what they'll do is that they'll... ASCI down and they'll onto attack like they'll ASCI down and tech it yeah. and then mash grab. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That That's sense, something yeah. that I've noticed they do, or they don't get popped up so like they're still grounded, or they tech it away or in to where they're just out of a situation, so it's harder for you to follow up. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, that's hard to do, but yeah. Yeah, I I see. Um, this is a bit off topic, but uh, Ar Arizona Puff players do this a lot in particular. Oh, yeah. Cubs and CPU Zero do this a ton, where I stop them and usually stop. They'll pop up or they'll SDI down and not tech it, but yeah. they'll tech roll away or tech it. Oh shit! Um, go back a little bit. I think we're at three stocks. I forgot which point we were at. Um, I think around here, yeah. So like typically. What? Like a little I don't know bit. what's going on. I think I, when I mute my mic, it does a shortcut. Okay. I think we're around here. Okay. Yeah, we're at, we're at the late up airport. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, like, typically what they do is that uh -huh. they would uh, they would tech the stomp, and then they'd yeah. roll away or roll in, or, like, basically uh, roll in a position where it, it either resets the situation or they um, – or it forces me to where if I were to follow up on it, I had to make a commitment and like commit to grab or commit oh, to like another stomp. So they put yeah, me like yeah. in a in a situation to where it's either reset or make a hard commitment to follow the punish. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the I think double stomp there is pretty 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 good there. That's like a you know double stomp of like zero to five or something is like pretty standy. Yeah, because like if yeah. it it covers no tech and tech in place, so yeah. like you rack up percent, you're not gonna get like a big combo. So is it better just like to double stomp there? Is like yeah, I would say just double stomp if they're like at super low percent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. That was crazy tech. Oh, I got shy guide. Oh, that that's a really unfortunate trade. That, that, that was not the best nair. Mm -hmm. All right, so look at this. So left and this is like the first full jump. Left and's done. Mm -hmm. he, and he did the okay. laser land also. Yeah. So why do you think he does this now? Um, to cover the dash back. Falcon's a zero. Mm -hmm. So this is a bad nair because Falcon's a zero. But why do you think it works? Um, it works because Wizzy's dash ba dashing back, and also he's doing the back air instead of the stomp. Well, the stomp would have gotten hit too, right? That's true. It would be. It, it wouldn't it beat the startup. Yeah, well, yeah. But basically, the thing is, like, left, uh, Wizzy's just been doing dash dash away short hop aerial, right? Dash away stomp, right? Mm hmm So, as, as a Falcon player, you have to be aware. You have to be self-aware and be like, he's not running into my move. He's going above my move, you know? Yeah. So, let's see how what, let's see how what Wizzy adapts to, you know? Let's see what he does. Mm-hmm. Because that's, that's how you beat when the Falcon just keeps jump back aerial and you just yeah. jump over it. I saw a CC, so go back real quick. I saw a little more. It's when Wizzy's at zero. So he does not there. So this is one adjustment I saw. So he CC'd it, but mm -hmm. it was really smart by Leffen to shine because it beats out yeah. the grab. So exactly. that, that's yeah. one adjustment is that he C he's ready to CC it. Yeah, but is it CC or ASDI though? Uh... It's pretty sure it's like it's not a true CC, right? Was, no, no, he landed. He landed actually. Okay, okay he can yeah, CC okay. it. Okay. So ASDI, if he's doing the move. Yeah. Oh, and he's doing move too. Okay, yeah. Oh, he's do okay. So he ASDI added. Yeah. Down. Yeah, he ASDI added that. Oh my god, that was fucking. That was actually nasty. really. That was actually really really smart. That's true. So, so this is something that um. Actually, Salt and Bab activated really pushed this, like, made it super popular, but Wizzy would do it a bit in 2019, where they do an aerial. So, say, like, I, I see Falcons do this a lot, where they do, like, a double jump feint stomp, on, uh, and then they edge cancel the stop onto a platform and do a back air. That's uh, nice. Space Pigeon does this a lot, I, I in particular. Simon will do this a lot. And, yeah. um... Salt is uh, salt's mainly the other one where he'll do something like this. So this is just something to keep in mind. And Wizzy did do this actually to close up, close out the set. Yeah. But it's something that it's like still kind of developing a bit. But Falcons are yeah, doing it cool, more, yeah. including myself. I've started to do it sometimes. Yeah. <clears throat> I want to show you something else here though. Look at this nair. Mm -hmm. Why is this nair you think is really good? And this his specific spot is because left and can't full jump beat this. Mm -hmm. because the nair because, catches the landing no because he's right under the platform mm -hmm. right yeah so if left and full jumps he's not going to hit falcon because falcon's he's going to land on the platform and falcon right mm -hmm. so yeah just think about that how is he adapted you know yeah because now he's under the platform he's safe against that full hop you know so look mm -hmm. he doesn't like fully commit right yeah yeah it's very See how it... he fades back onto under the platform yeah, it's very it's like conservative but still like a threat. Yeah. And then he does the double jump faint okay. edge cancel thing, which is insane. What the fuck? Oh. Time right. slipping. Yep. Random uh, weight random jump uh, dash back stump. Yep. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he kinda of zoomed that. That's not sure. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I barely Oh my god, the timing was so... Oh, we fucked up. Oh wow, he made sure he could have He could have need, need that, actually, but that yeah. still works. Wow, the left and chased him. That was insane. Okay, is, right, it so is, it really, is it really much for Wizzy to do instead? Because this is a, I think this is a really smart chase down my left end. Yeah. 
He's still invincible too, so. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was missed. Oh, the... what did he do? He jumped out. Take a look here. Leffen did this last time, right? What did yep. he do after the back air? He did the falling bear. And then he did? He did, I believe. Yeah, this is this is important. I want you to remember this, because remember he, what I was talking about? You. He did jab. The, la the first time he did it, he did jab. He did jab, right? Mm -hmm. So what does he do this time? Let's jab again. Yep. Okay. And he stayed in shield. Wizzy stayed in shield. And he, yeah, he Wizzy shield. stayed in shield. That's smart, right? Mm-hmm. And he, and and he, he got wasted out. jumps out, yeah. Yeah, he got out of it. And it's what you talked about, like, a long time ago, about Fox, make Fox exhaust his options. This is one of the examples where he's making Leffen exhaust the jab. Yeah, well, basically, Leffen hasn't grabbed, right? So he's just like, well... Yeah, he hasn't represented grab. He's only represented jab in this situation. He hasn't re He hasn't even represented up till or shine yet, even. yeah. Exactly. So, really good job. Holding shield for an extra second, it really saved him there. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he emptied up yeah. completely out of the situation. Yeah, but it's good. I, that's good that you remembered what happened, right? Because mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's like, really important for you to... I mean, because keep... You know, there's a small narrative in the story, right? With habits and stuff. And mm -hmm. I don't know if that's, like, your strongest thing, but it's definitely something, you know... It's something that, it's something yeah. to still take note of, especially if, as the set goes on. Yeah. Because, like, what that jab is intended to do is to catch me if I'm jumping early. Yeah. That's pretty much what that jab is for, is to stuff me in the air. Exactly. Oh, what oh. the hell was that grab? Yeah, go back that one grab second. made no I'm... sense. Yeah, I want to see that grab again. <laughs> that grab was oh. way too far away. I don't know how that hit. That's Whatever. A, that's a crazy grab. Oh, oh fucked he, up. he fucked up. Oh, he's just... He's just grabbing. Yeah. Oh, my oh, God. Fucked up. Oh, yeah, this is some spaghetti. Oh, the knee, the knee almost traded? Randall. Oh. That was a really good up oh. here. That was just, just kind of... Oh. oh. That's a really good turn. Oh. That was such a good... You remember what we talked about with the turnaround Nair? Yeah. It was, very, it was a very It was a very similar situation where... Yeah. Like, it wasn't near the platform, but it was well-spaced to where it's hard, really, for full hop to contest it. Because yeah, if he full exactly. hops, the pl the top plat is there as yeah. well. And then also, like, even if he full hops and it's, mm -hmm. like, he's coming down, it catches the landing. Similar to what we talked about many, yeah, like, yeah, many, yeah. like, all the time where, like, it catches the landing. For sure, for sure. Yeah, that was sick. Unfortunately, shit happens. It's too excited. Yeah. Uh, I, I I like watch this set. I'm like, Wizzy played really well this set. Yeah, he did. Like I could just tell Wizzy's playing well. Yeah, oh, so Wizzy said I got a fast forward color. Mm -hmm. Hey, go hey. back to the beginning real quick. <laughs> I want. <laughs> I think production missed the transition or something. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so he tries a dash back stomp. Doesn't work this time, but that's really close to working, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And this, you is... know, he read the option, right? He read the nair. He just was like slightly too close right yeah and this is what i was talking about also with like the rising like uh with weapon he closed in the space this time yeah he closed in the space to beat the startup now right yeah he's so, he's trying to beat the start before it comes out yeah. like and usually it's a rising aerial when yeah, this happens yeah. so what would be the counter like would wizzy have so, to change his timing the, what would he have to well, do well here's the thing though the only way he's able to close space is by dashing a little further right okay is he, he's not blocking while he's dashing, right? No, he's not. He's not doing not. anything while he's dashing. He so hasn't, he hasn't not, done rub show once. So, generally what I do, I think what a lot of people do, is what they'll do. I mean, what I'll do is I'll just dash grab him. Just like if they're, okay. ru if they're running up like that? Yeah, I'll just turn around and grab him, you know? Turn or uh, turn around jab, right? Mm -hmm. Like, because I know they want to try to read um, me dashing away. Mm -hmm. So they have to, you know, do an extra dash. So I just put out, like, a... You know, I'll just intercept them. I'll meet them halfway, grab them, or just jab, right? Would Pivot Shield be decent, too? Pivot Shield's good. Pivot Shield's not bad, yeah. Like, it, it's pretty much banking on if they're going to do an aerial. So, like, that's why I'm, like, unsure. Because it, if they're not I mean, air, if they're not fun. aerialing, it's not great. What was it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you think you, you can't do anything else, Pivot Shield is fine. But, uh... 
any you know rising aerial for fox rising nair for fox i mean you, you might be able to punish it so but uh yeah basically yeah just think about that um there yeah the closing space makes him commit more right to dashes so mm-hmm. yeah so you're safe to throw out a hitbox but, uh, wait i can't make that work oh shit that's so optimal and gross Try to shine up to Oh, nice stomp. Oh. Grab. Oh, missed. It's still it's still a good possession. Yeah. He was at, he was just out of the space. Out of the spacing yeah. for it to work. Nice his weight. Wow. Should have just kind of scrapped. Oh, it. he fucked up. He could have definitely yeah. gone out and up there that. Dang, Leffen's um ledge dashes are actually hard to practice against because it doesn't sink. There's so many different options off it. Oh my god. Nice. Yep. Oh, he tried the okay, that was good. Mm -hmm. He almost got it. He almost stomped over the shine, right? Yep. But and he's fine, you know. You you have to take that risk as Falcon, you know. Yeah, it is just like sometimes you you, can, you, you just, just get so much, dude. Look, tech chase. It, it just wouldn't be ideal to abandon it, is what you're saying. Yeah, you really gotta like fucking abuse. Because here's the thing: you set the tone of the of the neutral, right? With stomping. As soon as you get those two stomps, as soon as you get a stomp, Fox is thinking, okay, I have to find a way to beat dash back stomp. So mm -hmm. what am I gonna do? I'm gonna dash a little more, try to beat the startup. Okay, well, now we're playing the game. Now I know you want to do that, and I'm going to go grab you. I'm going to go hit you, right? So pretty much what you're saying is that you're using the stomps to pretty much, like, take control of the flow. Like, you're, yes, playing, my, exactly. you're, you're playing my game, and you have to respect this. Exactly, exactly. Because every Fox wants to nair in, right? Yes, exactly. They every want Fox just... wants to nair in or shine in, right? Yeah. So use that stomp to be like, you can't do it right now, you know? Mm hmm So just stuff like that, you know? Okay. But yeah, that's the tone. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look. Mm -hmm. Look at this forward tilt. Why does this forward tilt work? Right. Look, why does that forward tilt work? He's run he's running in to try and contest he's the stomp. He's running in to try to catch the stomp, right? Mm-hmm. So he knows that. So he's gonna be like, you're just gonna run in and try to Right? Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to catch a stomp and yeah. he gets stuffed in the face. Yeah. This stuff has to be going through your head when you're playing, right? Mm -hmm. Like Like that forward tilt there is so bad otherwise, right? Because, like, look how slow the move is, right? Yeah, very slow stop. So it's, like, it's only like a, good. A full on read, you know? Yeah, it's, like, only good because you're already representing this given option. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. He got. It's, like, the fifth time he's gotten hit by dashback, bro. Mm -hmm. and that's left it. That's the fucking. That's the best fox player in the world. Yeah, and Still also. Still getting hit by that shit. And, and he undershot it this time, though. Yeah. He also did an undershot in there. Yeah. Oh. That's wild trade. Oh, oh he's jumping. Oh. Leffen's jumping a ton. Got him. Wait, how did this not shine him? Oh, I guess it missed. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, that's gross. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Hold the space. Gosh. So what does he do here at 81? How do you get that straight hit on Fox? Uh, late up air. Yeah. Let's see what he does. There it is. Tr yep, he tried it once. Literally just came down from the platform and laid up air, right? Mm-hmm. Knee, that's okay. Yeah. Oh, we got the jump. 
Oh. It's pretty bad. Oh no. Oh my god, Leffen jumped into it. Yep, this is definitely a whizzy set. <laughs> That's a T. Uh, T I TO'd enough tournaments to know how this shit feels. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, Fountain. I mean, to be expected. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look, he got hit by a dash back stomp again. He tried up tilting this time, but his yeah. timing was. His timing yeah. was off. When you text him, plays like a scrub. Oh, shit. Oh my god, he knew the knee would work. Mm -hmm. And I want to go back real quick to something. This is something that's super smart that Wizzy does. Is uh, He does this empty hop right here. Oh. So pretty much like... this. Ba the, usually when they no tech air, the, you want a back air. But since the platform's there, it's oh. hard to do It's hard to do this. True, so true. all you really have is either down smash... Uh, four B, which is a big commitment, especially if you four B towards them. You're yeah. pretty much like four B is only good if you're banking on them tech rolling in. So yeah. you have to like do this empty hop to kind of like faint and fake them out. And right, right. Because like if you get up attack, you can dash up and just run at them. And then yeah. wherever they go, this run grab is like really good. Is like really good. Yeah, I could see that. Um. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Let me... Okay, nice. Up throw. Eh. Okay. Not the worst option. Oh my god, he just did it again. Mm -hmm. I think that's the story of the set. His yeah. stomps. Okay, and there it is. There it is again with the falling, uh, the falling, uh, first. Yeah, I guess that works, yeah. Oh. Easy up tilt. Uh... Um, oh, he missed. He keeps missing that. Okay. So, unfortunately, uh, FOD platforms don't really help you here because they're just too low. Mm -hmm. But he had the right idea, you know? Yeah. I mean, how do you have the platform? But full jump beats jump back aerial, right? So. Yep. There's a laid up air again. Yeah, laid up air again. Big box. One second. Should that big box of like horror stuff or do I have this? Yeah. The dragon shield cards are way bit like oh, bigger. bigger. Okay. Sorry. If you have dragon shield. Okay. Oh, it's still alive. Oh, he traded. He keeps doing that kind of bad in air from the ledge, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sweating. Oh, man. I've been getting greedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then. So since he's undershooting it, is this where the back air starts to work a little bit more? Yeah, I can see the back air looking a little better here. Yeah. Okay. Especially because you don't really want to stomp against, like, you don't need a stomp at like seventy percent. What the hell? That was what definitely not ideal from what Lizzie. Doing, Lizzie? Oh, And Leffen is just looking for big combo starters. Nice. Good patience by Wizzy. Yep, there's a four yeah, tail again, well, so go back again. Yep. Yeah. Right yeah, there. Yeah. Pretty much. Good, yeah. And I, it's even better because the platform's there, so I mean, he doesn't really have any other options. Like, it's yeah. he'd have to dash back to get that stomp. Exactly. So that that yeah. four tail's like even better, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Man, Leffen is just fucking fishing. Yep. 
Uh, up smash on she the up smash on shield. The we talked about that. Yep, punished him. Yep. Yep. Oh, what a down tilt. Okay, full jump to beat what? Uh, full jump to beat the jab. So right yep. here. Full uh, jump he did, to be he... short up aerial. Mm -hmm. So I'll keep that in mind. Oh, get need in the face. Really good. But think about these stages. Their stages are not full hop friendly talk stages, right? No, not really. Yeah. So, but, I mean, you don't want to play Wizzy on FD. Wizzy's just too, like, clean on FD, you know? Yeah, and, he's... Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'd be interested to see like what the thought process is here, but Wizzy, I didn't expect Wizzy to be this good on FOG. So, mm -hmm. dash back stomp, no commit, nice dash back stomp. Yep. Old pivot shield this time. And now okay. we did pivot shield. Yep. It's the first time we've seen the pivot shield. Yeah. And it was a power it shield as well, which is even yes, better. Yes. Yes. So now yeah, because that it, wouldn't. Right? If that was if that was just a regular pivot shield, that would not have worked. Yeah. That only yeah. works if it's power shielded. Exactly. See, I fucked up on the throw, but that's okay. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There's the roll. And okay. this and this time because of the fountain platform, it actually comes yeah. it comes to assist Wizzy this time because he's not landing directly on top of him. So Leffen has to like drop through the platform or something or do some platform stuff to get him. Yeah, for sure. So full jump works here for Leffen. Good for him. He'd rather jump the uh, Shroff Aerial. Oh. oh, what did he? Oh, good me. That was clean. That was like textbook Falcon Fox. Yeah. Oh, reds the bear. Ah, uh, bad jump. Yeah. Terrible jump. Yeah, got caught. Wait up or at low percent this time? Yeah. Still another stomp there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to see how they get the stomp again. Just aerial grab. jump back stomp, right? Yep, aerial jump back stomp. And grab, I mean, that just won't work unless it's run-up shieldable. Yeah. Like, well, you see how, like, low lag this up air is, though? Mm -hmm. Like, that's why up air is such a good move to just throw out, because it's so much less lag, landing lag, than up air. Than back, yeah, he know? did it again, actually, right there. Yeah, Didn't exactly. So, it, because, like, pretty much, if he's, like, fading back with it, yeah. It's like you have to pretty much respect it. And even if you fade in with it, you can get up air to grab it low percents. Yeah. Tech in place, that's good. Oh, oh he missed timed it, but that's okay. Yeah, I missed timed it, but it's all good. Oh, oh my god. Man. I'm gonna see how he got the knee. Oh left hey, just left just left fucked up. up. He just yeah, fucked he just up. Missed his input, yeah. Okay, extra dash there. Oh, okay. I see a feedback there this time. Yeah. Yeah, that was really good. He used full hop uh, to beat the short up aerial. Mm -hmm. This time he used a way better. I mean, narrow's fine, but up air, if you can get a good read with up air, that's good. Okay. So, wow. Oh, he Look just at runs... that dash up. Mm -hmm. He just runs up and grabs him. Yeah. He knows. Yeah. Well, because like he's trying to chase after him with the stomp um yeah when lizzie does the stomp yeah. so that opens up the game to where he just runs up and grabs him so he exactly. just draw grabs yeah Ooh. i i like the forward throw that time though yeah yeah it was a good mix up there yeah mm. there's not really much falcon can do there yeah yeah oh, oh good knee oh nice oh. Dang. that's a really good angle yeah Oh, yeah, I want to see the knee. Hang on. He just jumped into uh, it. Yeah, I just jumped into it. Yeah. Nice. Right, look at this. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Instead of the instead of back air stomp, he went what? He went. He went back air grab. Exactly, because Leffen one just wants to get in, right? Yep. He wants to get in, so he does the back air pretty much like give him the idea that maybe he can run up shield or win the yeah, exchange or out chase of it. down. Yeah, and then yeah. because of how the stomp situation has been the entire set, yeah. he, Wizzy has all the liberty to go and just grab him. Exactly, yeah. 
Let's see how much does he get. Two. That's pretty good. Yeah. I love the STI. That's really good to smash DI by Wizzy. What the hell? Leffen's confused. Mm-hmm. Wizzy's winning all the boxing battles. Yeah. Okay, we'll slate up air. Oh, I don't know about okay. that. Jump. Oh, he jumped. He's just a jump. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, no. my. <gasps> Leffen? You can't miss that. What the fuck? Oh, my God. He just jumps into the knee. Oh, no. Shined. Late up airs. He was looking for the late up yep. airs. Late up airs. And, and then he tried. He he actually successfully said, "Hey, I'll go back one sec." Leffen actually successfully um Grab runs. It, yeah. a, he, you know, he nares um he does the nair shine to beat the stomp. So go back uh, like oh, back okay. when Wizzy's at zero. So. Going for late up airs, which isn't bad. Right here. He try oh, he okay, starts yeah. he starts beating it. So this is something to go back to like that one frame real quick. This is something that a lot of boxes will do these days. Is that yeah. to where you can't really spam it. I'm gonna be honest, you can't really spam it these days. Because yeah. just they're just so ready for this uh, for the payback stomp. So yeah. wh what would you do in this situation when they start successfully like closing in the space? To where like they beat the startup or yeah. they beat the end lag of the first stomp. What do you do then? So when they beat start being the end lag of the stomp and they're waiting outside they're timing their approach really well. Um I think you just move a little bit, you know? Like you just make chance? sure you're not be Yeah. I I just think well, okay, basically if they're doing that, that just means, you know, they're being really precise with it. And cause the problem is with stomp is that the drift it doesn't matter the drift matters, but like the move is not active enough to mm -hmm. like stop that from happening really. So you just have to change your aerial or um or start fading in, you know? So like would you like a fade in stomp or like fade yeah. in there or fade in me or something? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I do that. Would would tight dash chances be another thing as well? I know we've talked about tight dash chances in the past. Uh, it could be, but I just think they're gonna nair anyway, you know? like you're gonna get nared regardless even with the tight yeah. dash chance yeah i think so but you could also just hold down too that is true you know? like it you could just dash chance around and just hold down because like exactly what percent yeah. hey, hey, i want to see when wizzy gets there i want to see what percent he's at oh he's at oh he, he's at five percent he can literally yeah CC. he's like super he, low so he can he can like, literally cc he can literally cc grab this shit yeah exactly yeah like so again this is something uh because i've been playing uh it's really a uh, pretty good South Bay Fox uh, named Doctor Fat Man, and mm -hmm. Fat Man told me just like, uh, like he what he'll do is that he'll do drills and mix up here, but every yeah. time he goes in nares, I just CC grab him. Exactly. Yeah. So like I'm starting to learn the inner meta of how that goes along. Goes along is that cool. like it's like pretty good to do an aerial or something like that if they're doing the drill, but if you're do uh it's good to yeah. CC it if you're if they're doing if they're doing yeah. the nair because. The drill, like, you can still SDI it, but it's a lot harder because they're probably yeah. just going to try it. If, if they're smart, they're going to drill again. Exactly, exactly. Pretty much. Yep. Oh, oh that's the edge cancel said. thing I talked about, and that's the yeah. set. Okay, so... Yeah, some of the big th some of the big things I took from that. Um, yeah. I'm gonna start writing them down now. Okay. Um, because what what I like to do is I I save the notes until the very end, just kind of absorb it. Sure. All right. So, um, what I got was ham post okay. analysis is, um, if they're uh if they're committing. If they're committing to the stomp, uh, mm -hmm. to chasing down stomp, uh, down, down stomp, uh, run, uh, run up grab, and, uh, and F tilt become available. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Oh. Yeah, that becomes yeah, right up stomp. I mean F tilt, grab intercept, grabs, jabs, whatever, a hitbox, the stop dash in. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh hold shield um hold shield more. Um yeah. if they're doing aerial into jab on shield. Yeah, I mean aerial into just spam tech skill, you know, in general, you know. Doing aerial. It's okay to hold shield for a little bit. Yeah. Into... Especially if you're a low percent, you just kinda of crouch against the wall. Um. Uh, in a tech skill, I'm, I'm gonna just I'm gonna write jab and specifically because yeah. jab is like the most common. Um. Uh, jab is like the most common or shine, is yeah. the most common that will happen, in these situations. So jab jab slash. Shine, because yeah. that pretty much catches the jumps. So like jab shine and air uh aerial again, is usually what they do. Um, to catch uh, aerial again, because that catches yeah. jumps. So hold shield more if they're doing aerial into tech skill. Jab shine slash aerial again. Uh, does that sound good? It sounds perfect. Yeah. Okay, and then um, the third one was um, stay uh, like do nares under flat um, uh do nares under platforms. Yeah. Stop full hop. Well, I mean, uh, the the main the main concept you want to think about is is short hop is full jump fox near beat short hop, falcon aerial. Yeah. Obviously, not all the time, but like it's like that's. So if you keep, if you if you keep jump back jump back aerialing, you know you should expect to get punished by full jump. Yeah. Uh, beats. I'm all right. Full hop fox near beats falcon. Um, short hop. Aerials. And I'm gonna try in parentheses most of the time because it, yeah. because it's okay. It's still okay to do like we talked about with uh three point up air. Yeah, like, yeah, three point up like, air. Yeah, like yeah. Three, three point up air beats it. Um, the the three point nair beats it also. Yeah, that's true. It does. Yeah. So like, um, uh, and nair exceptions and then would waiting for them to land be like a decent counter as well or does it really just depend on the spacing yeah if you can yeah that's totally fine yeah. it's just fox's near drift and, is like so different so. uh wait for lag and then uh there was one uh, there was one other uh that we talked about that was really important i'm trying to think off the top of my head of what it was um we talked uh, I'm trying to remember because we talked about this really like in detail. Um, oh, what more we talked about? Um, well, just the importance of dashback stomp to set up the neutral, right? That's yeah, just... Yes, using yeah, that's what yeah. it was. Uh, you uh utilize utilize dash uh dashback um stomp. Yeah. The reason why dashback stomp and not dashback nair dashback back air you know reason is because now the fox can't hold down you know yeah so it's huge i command the flow of the match and i'm a right fox can't hold down hold down and i think those are pretty good four notes from it yeah i think those are, are really good yeah are there any like miscellaneouses like uh, oh, the, oh, yeah. I mean, uh, late up airs for for kill. Late up airs just way yes. better if you're fishing. Right? Yeah, late so. uh, late up air. Um, covers a lot. Uh, covers a lot of range. Reli uh, reliable for killing and. And putting yourself yourself in good spots. I think those are fantastic five notes. It's good, like yeah. it's it's very clear and to the point. So I'm gonna just yeah. read them over one more time. So we have sure. uh, if they're committing to t um to chasing down stomp one up grab F tilt become available. Uh, hold shield more if they're doing aerial into tech skill. Jab slash shine slash aerial again. Um, 
Full Hop, Fox Snare, Beats, Falcon, Shore Hop, Aerials. Um, both, uh, in parentheses, most of the time. Three-point up air. There are exceptions. Same with Wafer, Lag. Uh, utilize Dashback Stomp to command the flow of the match. Fox can't hold down otherwise. And then late up air catches a lot of range. Reliable for killing and putting yourself in good spots. Yeah. And then I just want to ask one more thing with the... Um, with the... Uh, what is it? Hold shield if they're doing aerial into tech skill. Uh, what should I do? Like, instead of just hold shield, like... Should I hold shield uh, and then, like, do an aerial out? Or is this I think just... the main like... thing well, on that point is we just want to establish the main... The narrative for that situation establish so basically like establish the situation yeah but basically like if they do that really safe backer on shield that's the situation we're talking about we're not talking about just random text we're not talking about like we're talking about that full hop behind shield specific yeah. situation i'm all right so I'm, that, a, I'm all right full hop behind shield specifically then yeah so that situation is the one where we want to take inventory of, of what we can do right are they chasing rules like use you have to make a risk you have to take the unfortunately that part is where you have to take that risk and make pick an option right and then then you keep a mental note of what they do you know when they get that full hop when they get that perfect full hop behind you you know all right so i'm gonna keep it very simple and just write full hop behind shield specific yeah and then should i write like do they catch um are they catching rolls or anything like that should I yeah, write that yeah. And maybe i would put mental rule mental note mental note yeah um I, I ran out of room on that so I'll, I'll just write on that one in particular because this is the one i i specifically get caught at a lot like this is like my biggest weak point right now is that sort of that sort of thing and i've gotten really good against falco in that situation but versus fox i still struggle with it and to some extent versus falco but i know at least against falco i've gotten better at yeah so like, i'm gonna write mental mental note what what are they looking for for rolls aerials way dash etc so that that's what i got for that is a uh, mental note oh, yeah, what, sense, yeah. what are they looking for rolls aerial way dash etc Yep, I think it's perfect. I think it's good. Um, All right. I can't That's think of anything good. else. I think we covered. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, yeah. This was a really good uh, thing to do. I like when we analyze Wizzy because I think he plays very closely to you. You know. Yeah. So it makes sense to me to like have you kind of look at him. You know. Yeah. Well, and I I thought of this recently as well because just mm -hmm. like the way I interpret the game, you are correct. Yeah. Like I'm not even trying mm -hmm. to make comparison. Yeah, I interpret the game very similar to he does. At least in neutral, yeah. I do think in neutral, I I interpret. Yeah, the game very in neutral, similar. yeah, yeah. Those clear answers, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, like it's very straightforward and to the point of what I want. And Wizzy is very much like that, and I I like to see just how he gets those openings. In terms of punishes, I would say I have like different decision trees. But in terms of, like, the neutral, like, 2019 Wizzy is, like, very similar to how I would think about the game in That's particular. That's good. good, yeah. So, I, I thought about, like, I, is even either this or the Summit set. So, I was like, okay, I should probably study one of these. And this I was glad I'd pick this set in particular because Wizzy was playing out of his mind this entire time. Yeah, he was. He was playing out of his mind. But I think that's it. I'm going to stop the stream. Right. Awesome. Yeah.